Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Posky Outdoors coming to you today from northern New Mexico. We're not that far from the Colorado border, we're just below Navajo Dam in the Farmington area fishing the San Juan River. Why are we here? Well, it's one of the most popular trout rivers in all of the southwest. A lot of that popularity stems from fly fishing. We're out here today with Potsky balls of fire salmon eggs and a little Potsky fire corn to show you how easy it is to come up here and catch trout on bait. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, not real huge, but nice little fish. Right out here behind that rock. Man, this is a beautiful trout stream. First time out here in classic trout water, and they're laying right where they should be. Yes, little guy. Yeah, fresh planter. He's a little dude. Hey, first one, man. There you go. Oh, you cast upriver. As it comes down to you, pick up your slack back onto your reel. And then as it comes by, you open your bail and let it uh, travel on down. Oh, nicer. Nicer size. Need the net on that one? Well, they just like laying out there behind them rocks. Right in the top of the mouth. It just comes right out. Now that's just a little 60, 164th ounce jig head. And I like to fish out with an egg on it because 95% of the time, these fish will be hooked in the upper lip and doesn't get down into their throat, completely release the fish unharmed, and they, they swim away strong. All right, nice, we'll get another one. Hey guys, we're out here fishing the San Juan River today for rainbows, having great success. I'm gonna show you how I rig and why it's so versatile and useful. Basically using a slip float setup, not bouncing the eggs off the bottom. I have four to six pound main line. On that goes this rubber egg bobber stop, which is important because I'm able to slide that up and down to adjust depth. I have a clear uh, Bomax slip, clear float that is adjustable that I fish my bait suspended underneath. To that I put a barrel swivel to stop my main line. Under that I'm simply pinching on or crimping on a number five or number seven split shot and I run about 18 inches of four pound test leader down to this little micro jig. It's a 164th ounce Danielson jig head, and I can put either corn, uh, Potsky's fire corn, or any of our trout eggs, salmon eggs, on the hook. Works fantastic. Give this a try. You'll have some really good success. Boy, they're on the bite this morning. Double. Double. That's a fat rainbow. That is a fatty. These are actually these triploids, huh, Joe? These are triploids. You can see on the tape of the body. The body's nice and girthy, and they got them little heads. Pretty indicative of a triploid, no matter where you are. But uh, these are healthy little planters. They are pretty healthy. They've they probably been in the good. from last year, I would imagine, on these ones. They usually go in at about 10 to 12 inches. Yeah. And uh, these are holdovers. Yeah. And they, they do well in this river system. Must they be do. a lot of feed, because they're nice and fat. I well, wanted to... Bring the Potsky guys down here to the San Juan River, uh, one of the crown jewels in New Mexico as far as on the fishing, trout fishing side. Uh, it's known as far as one of the top 10 destinations as far as fly fishing, but it doesn't get very much uh, play as far as on the bait side. Uh, underneath the main section of the river, they stock it heavily with trout consistently throughout the summer and the winter. Uh, it's a great fishery. You get a lot of holdover trout, a lot of stalkers, and you can catch anywhere from 12 to even, uh, I'm sure there's 18 to 20 inches in here. We've just been hammering them today. We're using gold label, silver label salmon eggs, which always have been consistent. The new silver has just been hammering them. But we wanted to go and try fire corn as far as a lot of these trout. We've been using chartreuse, pink, red, natural, yellow. Every color has been working. It's so much easier to use other than just your standard corn that you would buy. And the way it's actually scented with krill just makes a huge difference as far as on the way it actually tracks a fish. 
Uh, we've been hammering them all day long, and it's just been great uh, in a short time. Just it's, it's amazing how many fish we'll be able to catch. That yeah, feels like a pretty decent fish. You know, I come back with the gold label, first cast, fish on. I don't know what it is about that gold label, but in this sunlight, they really like it. Oops. Silver label, another fish. Yeah, it's a little more colorful. Every cast. Look at that. Another one. Every cast. Nice. Flip the cast out there just for the rocks and the boulders. And there he was. Sitting waiting. That's San Juan Rainbow. There it is, in that eddy water. Oh, that thing looks big. Not a bad fish. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, it's got a little rainbow stripe to it. Whoa, hey, come here, buddy. That master, oh yeah, that's a bigger fish. That's 14. Oh, there you go. There we go. Right behind the big rock, huh? Another San Juan Rainbow, another nice little fat fish. <laughs> Look at that. There we go, good indication. How many is that now, Dwayne? Too many to count. I don't know. Don't you love that? When yeah. You get to a point where how many fish did you catch? I don't know. When you lose count, that's a good thing.